and welcome to the 44th Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival Parade. We are downtown in Martinsburg on the square where people are starting to file in and get their best seats reserved and their chairs set up, their blankets out. Um, I see a lot of hot chocolate, Aaron, oh, yes. and um, just it, there's just a lot of activity. So we're getting excited. The uh, parade will be getting um, started soon, but we thought it would be great to bring our presenting sponsor, BCT, on first and just uh, allow them an opportunity to share with the, you um, their involvement in the Apple Harvest Festival. Without them as our presenting sponsor, we surely could not do as much as we're doing as far as manpower that you provide and financial re, uh, resources we're so blessed the festival is so this is Aaron and um, Aaron tell us just a little bit about your um, the BCT's commitment and partnership yeah Mary Beth, thank you it's been a uh, it's been a, a tradition now we, we're going on I think five years yes, and uh -huh. uh, so five years being involved and we come together and when we're able to put out volunteers and so we have people throughout the parade route yeah. helping out uh, helping line up cars you'll see the BCT car come through the parade oh, today too. so we're excited about that uh, it's gonna be its first appearance in the parade <laughs> uh, so far so yeah just the involvement has been great it's it's we can definitely our core values match up with that of what the Apple Harvest Festival right. is trying to provide for the area um, and it's definitely great just to, to see the amount of activity down here in downtown Martinsburg uh, and what it provides to the area. Yeah, and we were taught. We've talked several times about your involvement, and one of the things that is just such a cool uh, partnership or match between the Apple Harvest Festival and BCT. You guys were founded by farmers and orchardists, right? Yes. Yeah. Back in 1871, we were founded uh, by. 38 farmers, orchardists, and small businesses uh, throughout the area. So really, that's our roots are, right. are heavy in the uh, orchard industry. So today, as we're celebrating the heritage of our region and the apple um, heritage that we have, it's just a great way um, our partnership uh, just symbolizes that, that we both have something really to celebrate. And if it weren't for those pioneering spirits who, yep. who not only started your bank, but also started this festival to Pass that on to generations. I think about your kids that are in school, and I think about my grandkids who are growing up, and maybe the it's a little bit different than it was back in those founding fathers uh, days when they started, but things look different. There's a lot of more commercialism around them, but I love to take my grandkids on rides along the country roads and just show them the orchards and yeah. orchards of um, fruit. And, uh, you know, we always just try to figure out what apple, whether it's apples or peaches. And uh, I just think it's so important to continue to pass that on for generations. I, I couldn't agree more. And that's, that's something to get, getting kids involved and, and, and my daughter, it was involved with the uh, court last year as a court gesture. Yes. But even before that, you know, we, we came for the Apple Trample. We came, you know, for the parade and we, we stayed involved right. with the festival. And it starts early and, and you have those oh, memories. Gosh, yes. And we've heard that from a lot of people throughout yeah. the week, just the memories of just the festival and what happens. And, and then you go throughout the community and there's a lot of people that make apple butter or do yeah. apple cider. And right. there's so much that's involved that you don't right. even realize. Sure. And, and that's throughout our bank as well is, is just that involvement. And there are people in our bank, you know, we have about 70 volunteers going out and and helping out with the festival throughout the weekend but we we are um we have so many people that are just like hey sign me up for that i yeah. want to volunteer to do that please yeah. uh, you know make sure i get that that part that's so awesome it, it makes a, it's, it's a great experience for yeah. everyone involved well i also know that some of your customers are orchardists and f still running farms in the county and yeah. um i know they have they participate in our festival as well and it's yeah. so it's so good because i think it brings awareness during apple harvest weekend we're able to bring awareness to those that are still um, not just farming um, and have orchards that are still um, working orchards, but they they have farm markets and yeah. they're they're very popular in our area. We know we have heard that some people, one of your clients, I believe, or customers is Ors, and I believe that people drive in for hours just yeah. to go shopping and in, the, in <laughs> their store. So um, I think the festival also does that as well. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah, yeah. The festival brings in a lot of people, and, and yeah. you know, there's a lot of that tour. I, Agritourism is a big thing and it's a big uh -huh. promotion as well. And what they're doing at Oars is even great and brings in yeah. a lot of people and they bring in classes to teach them about things yeah. as well. So I, I think that's, it's definitely a, a great uh, experience for all. Now, one more thing I want to talk to you about before we close the interview and get ready for the parade yeah. is that BCT is 
even before you were presenting sponsor, you've been heavily involved in the 5K, the Apple mm -hmm. Trample, and that's been yeah. a very um, big thing in our community for many, many years associated with the Apple Harvest Festival. The Apple Trample was renamed the Bob Bariner um, Apple Trample yeah. several years ago. Share a little bit about your connection to that. Yeah, Bob Bariner, uh, great man. He was great president of the Bank of Charlestown for a number of years. I got to work with him for over 10 and, and it's, you know, uh, died too early uh, from cancer. And, and so it's a way to honor him. And, and mm -hmm. we have a lot of people that uh, that run it. We were cheering him on here this morning as they ran past. Yeah. It's great that uh, we're able to uh, have that involvement, have something that, you know, a legacy type thing that yes. we're, we're able to honor that. Uh, and so, yes, it's it's been it's yeah. near and dear to I'm my sure. heart as well. I'm sure it's even maybe a little emotional when that happens. I can <laughs> yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah. I I, re, I do recall one of the first years that I got to MC the parade. Um, that might have been. I think it's only been a couple of like five years, maybe six years. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like that first year when you renamed it, his son Bob's yes, son yeah. won the race that year the first year it was in he honor did. of him and it was even more special so that was just a that's one of the memories that i can recall so yeah, thank absolutely. you all for continuing to do that and it certainly yeah. keeps his memory i'm sure bob probably ran the trample as well before it was named after him but he also yeah. served on the, the hospital board right yeah hospital board hospital foundation yeah he was he was very heavily involved in the community and really established the volunteerism that we have in our our uh, right our your uh, bank. bank yeah right. and i so the connection there is that the, the Apple Trample is a combined effort between BCT and WVU Medicine. So that went down this morning. We saw it <laughs> coming down the street. I saw some pictures that our photographer took of the winners and um, it looked like a great group, was it? Yes, yeah, it was a great group that came through and uh, definitely a lot of people competing. And so it's, it's yeah. a great day. Yep, so we're just waiting for the parade to start. We'll be back in just a few and we'll uh, get started with the advanced division. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, BCT. And they will be here on the square during the parade. They have bleachers set up for their bank customers and for the family the of the court. Yep. And um, so we, we might see them a little bit later as well. So we'll be back.